in this next example, we see another 3D data set with a patient with a huge left ventricle. And it's evident that there are wall motion abnormalities in the apical regions. This is a patient with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. It was in the range of 20 to 25%. And also having the problem of an ischemic heart disease. So due to the time in between the contraction of the ascending and descending segment, which is very short, around 80 to 90 milliseconds, we also have the problem when there is a problem in contraction with post-systolic shortening. Post-systolic shortening leads to an ineffective filling. The descending fibers, they continue to shorten persistently during diastole, and so 50% of the entire untwisting is inefficient. And you can see quite nicely in this image compared to the other patients or the normal situations actually we saw that the entire ventricle is showing a different kind of contraction, a different kind of myocardial work. So it's definitely inefficient and there's definitely scarring and a reduction in also the untwisting present.